Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. When HTC announced the HTC Desire HD and the Desire Z, which go on sale in October, they also announced HTCSense.com, which is a full-fledged online management tool of your Android phone, and it works with the Desire HD and the Desire Z. It has a lot of awesome features, and up until about today, you couldn't really access it unless you had a Desire HD or a Desire Z. Well, we don't have either of those devices, but we are running the Desire HD ROM on the HTC HD2, so we can give you an early preview of all of the awesome features that HTC Sense has to offer. Let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, starting off, this is your dashboard, and by the way, if you are running the HTC HD2 and you're, you're running the Desire HD ROM, you can register on HTCSense.com for free. So starting off on the dashboard, we get a map which shows us where in the world our phone is. And this is really awesome because let's say you lose your phone, you don't know where it is, it could be across the country, you just came from California, you're traveling, you can see where your phone is with a lot of precision here on this map. I'm not going to zoom in all the way, but I can tell you that it's very precise in telling you where your phone is in the world. Over here on the right, you can choose to forward calls if you want. You can also forward messages, and you can even forward messages to an email address. So let's say you aren't going to be, you're going to leave your phone at home, you're going to go into work, and you want all of your SMS to go to your work email. You can do that through this online interface. Down here it says ring, so let's say you lose your phone maybe in the couch cushion, you don't know where it is. If you press ring within about a second, watch this. It happens really fast. Your phone rings really loudly. Pretty cool. Down below ring, you have lock phone. This is so that, let's say you lose your phone in the back of a taxi cab and you want to put a message on the screen that says, hey, I've lost my phone. Please call this number so that I can meet up with you to get my phone. You can actually do that from this interface. And you can also put in a four digit pin so that the person that's looking at the message cannot get into your data. And finally, you can erase the phone if all hopes are lost and you don't think you're ever gonna get your phone back. You don't want people looking at your information. You can wipe your phone clean from this button here that says erase phone. Now up here at the top, there are several other buttons we can press. Footprints will back up your HTC footprints, although it's very likely that most people don't use footprints unless you travel a lot, so we're not going to cover that. Over here, people is pretty cool. So this backs up all of the contacts on your HTC phone. And most people already have a way to back up their contacts. They may have Microsoft Exchange or Gmail or something else. But if you don't have a way to back up your contacts, htcsense.com gives you a way to do that. And what we have here is just one contact that I've added, and it's synchronized instantly with my phone when I add a new one. And you can do this both ways. So you can add a contact from your phone or add a contact from the web interface, and everything is kept synchronized. It's quite quite fantastic. Now over here in the messages column, this is where things get really cool. So you can actually carry on an SMS conversation through the web interface. In other words, when you type a message to somebody, it routes it through the internet, through your phone, and then out to the other person's phone over GSM, of course. So I can actually manage this conversation, and I can type a, a new message. And literally, that message will show up on my phone as if I typed it from my phone, but actually I typed it from the web interface. So a really cool way to manage conversations while you're not necessarily using your phone, which is great because, for example, at work, your boss doesn't want to see you playing with your phone. They want to see you staring at a computer screen in a lot of cases. So you can carry on text message conversations without them knowing that you are actually you know, doing that. Let's go over here to HTC Hub. This is really cool. So this allows you to push a lot of different programs and themes and ringtones to your phone remotely. So you can browse what HTC likes from here. And this is actually an application that is on the Desire HD. It's just a app recommendation platform that shows you some really cool apps to try on your Android phone. And we can kind of dial down more specifically. Let's say we want to change scenes. Of course, HTC Devices has a variety of scenes, but here you can actually choose from more scenes. So they have one called the Avid Reader, which is pretty cool. So we can click on that and click Send to Phone, and watch what happens. 
Okay, so I just clicked send a phone and I can see a download remotely started on my computer or on my phone here It says avid reader and that is an HTC scene It's downloading pretty fast and with a few within a few seconds I'll be able to change my theme to that now There's a lot more stuff you can do over here with the HTC hub We can go to uh, apps and plugins and let's say I want to send um, This application called backgrounds to my phone. You can't really download it uh, Remotely, but what you can do is click the mark button and so on your phone. Let me show you what happens. Okay, and within about two seconds, especially if you're over a high-speed connection, we get a new notification that says new marked apps. So you tap on that and it takes you into the HTC Hub application and it shows you all of the applications that you have marked so that later you can go and download them. So you can really shop for applications on htchub.com or htcsense.com and be able to find all of those apps that HTC recommends and this is the Hub application, uh, which is now active with HTCSense.com being online. So I can show you that for a quick second before we uh, conclude this video. And it's going a little bit slowly right now because the Wi-Fi is not working on this build. So here we have featured applications and we can kind of flick through with our finger and get the carousel. Here we've got starred items, most popular to the right of that. Unable to connect, that's not good. Friends comments. Over here is my download, so this will synchronize with what you download here from the HTC Hub on HTCSense.com. And finally, like we talked about over here, we have the marked items, so you know which items to go back and download later. So HTCHub.com is a really fantastic interface for people that want to have full remote management of their phone, something that we really have yet to see. We've seen it in parts through, for example, Microsoft My Phone on Windows mobile devices. But HTCSense.com is really a full experience of a remote phone management, which a lot of people are really going to enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and visit PocketNow.com for the latest in smartphone news and reviews. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.